can you tell us what's different and what's special about your panels and, and what's it called, first of all? What we have here is a two-axis PV tracker. So it moves in the horizontal rotational direction called the azimuth and a uh, vertical direction that we call elevation. And uh, just like a, like a sunflower, it faces the sunrise and then moves throughout the day and then faces the sunset. And we say that you get almost a minimum of 40% more energy collected by following the sun. So now if you do that for less than 40% extra cost, you're in business. You've got a positive return on investment. So essentially, you have a more efficient system than a typical. Is that a fair way for us to think about it? We've defined efficiency in terms of using things and we've also defined efficiency of, say, fossil fuel power plants. So is that a fair way to say that for a given area of PV panel, you're generating more electricity, so that's an increase in efficiency? I think that's completely uh, accurate and uh, especially when you think about some of the either rare earth materials or even potentially hazardous materials that are going into high grade solar panels, it's really, it's really uh, effective to be using those materials uh, in the most efficient way you possibly can. So for a given constructed panel, you want to optimize the amount of solar energy you're capturing and the amount of electricity you're generating. You got it. So that's a good point, and that sometimes makes me wonder, should we not put any panels in snowy, cloudy New England and put them all in the southwestern United States, for example? Yep. You know, they say you could power the entire country with a small corner of Arizona. Um, but you know, the truth is then you'd have a huge distribution problem yeah. um, getting all the power up here to New England. And the truth is, while we don't have quite as much resource as Arizona, we do have two thirds of the resource. Uh, Germany is one of the most progressive countries when it comes to renewable energy, and Vermont has more per unit solar resource than Germany yeah. does. Mike, we haven't introduced the negawatt, a term that Amory Lovins, among others, uses. Yeah. So do you mind defining what, what's a negawatt? Uh, Amory Lovins coined the term the negawatt. It's just the opposite of a megawatt. Rather than producing a megawatt, you, you reduce your consumption by a megawatt, and uh, it's, it's an extremely valuable idea. So the outcome is the same. The outcome is the same. That's right. Great.